welcome to tech wizard today we are going to discuss about the different ways to initialize the object so basically there are three ways to initialize the object one is by using a reference variable second by using a method and third by using a constructor so we will see here with the practical example of each of the way to initialize the object so let's start and first we will see how to initialize the object using a reference variable so let's create one class let's say class student and that student class is having let's say two data member one is roll number which is of type integer and second one is name which is of type string okay so these are the two data members in our student class okay now let's have class student demo in which we have a main method so that is public static void main okay now let's create object of student class let's say s1 okay so we have a object of student that is s1 now by using this object that is s1 we can access that data member so s1 is a reference variable okay is a is called as a reference variable of student class so s1 dot r number is equal to 1 so we have assigned r number to 1 and to assign the name again we can write down s1 dot name is equal to ram okay now to print it let's write down the system dot out dot print ln and let's print r number similarly copy this line and print name now complete the main method and class save this so let's save it with a here that is a student demo okay let's compile this compile there is a some problem let's see what is the problem tool completed with exit code 1 r number yes okay so what we want to display over here see here so whenever you want to access this uh, instance variable okay so these are the two variables r number and name are called instance variable as we have discussed in one of the your video okay so here we have assigned r number to one name to ram but to assign that we have used this object that is s1 okay so whenever we want to print the value of that data member outside class outside class means this r number is a member of student class but we want to print over here in student demo class okay so we need to use s1 dot r number and similarly you need to use s1 dot name to display it you just cannot write down r number and name save this compile this compile successfully execute this so you can see over here it shows the output one and ram okay similarly you can create another object okay say let's say let me copy all this line and just make the changes so you quickly i can able to show you okay so let's here call as a object s2 let's write down s2 dot r number is equal to 2 s2 dot name is equal to sita and let's print s2 dot r number 
and as to dot name that's it save this compile this and execute it you can see one ram which is the value assigned to the object s1 and two sita value assigned to the object s2 so this is how by creating a reference variable so s1 and s2 over here are the reference variable by using that we are assigning a value so this is the first way out of this three by using a reference variable now let's see the another one that is using a method okay so for that i am commenting this assignment or let me uh, delete this okay let's delete this so we can clearly understand the other things so here in the class student i am having two data member over here now let's write down one method over here let's say void insert okay and in insert we are going to pass two parameter one is integer r and second one is string n and inside this method we are going to assign this r to r number like this one and name is equal to n okay so now our class is having two data member one method and let's write down one more method here to display to display the value which we are going to assign okay so we need to what display for display what we are going to write down system dot out dot print ln okay what we want to display r number okay and let me copy this and paste it over here here we are going to display name done okay so this is our display method so now our class student contain two data member one insert method and one display method insert method to assign the data member and display method to show the value of the data member coming back to our student demo class we already have our one object s1 now to assign the value to data member call a particular method because we are we are on the second way okay we are on the second way we are going to initialize using method okay so we are going to call this method which is useful for the assigning so s1 dot s1 dot insert but here we need to pass the argument okay let's say one and ram okay and to show that value that is a display method okay so that will display the value of that one let's save this compile this and execute it here it is one ram okay one is a value of roll number and ram is a value of name okay so if you if you observe here in display i have just written r number and name while the same thing i have done before few minute in student demo class okay at that time it generating error okay at that time i have explained why is it so because if you want to access that r number and name outside the class you need to access it through the reference variable okay but here we can access without it because display is a method of a student class and this data members are also belong to the same student class okay i hope these things are clear so we can move further now to use our third way that is assigning using a constructor okay so let me delete this method or you can say let me now comment it so here i am commenting down because uh, i have commented this because constructor which we are going to write down which is very similar to this one which is very similar to 
method because constructor are a special methods okay we have already explained in our one of the video okay you can watch we have uh, explained over there in detail how we can use the constructor and let me delete from over here this lines okay let's go to the student class and let's create a constructor so as we learn in the constructor video the constructor name must be same as a class name okay so this is the class name is student constructor name is a student now here we are going to in in this constructor we are again going to pass two parameters like integer r and string n as we have passed in the method okay below code r is already there so you can able to compare it okay here r number is equal to r and name is equal to n okay so you can see this the code is similar similar same but but here we are using constructor and that was the method so what is the difference between assigning using a constructor and assigning using a method so when we have assigned using a method what we have done first we have a s1 and then we have written s1 dot insert okay to assign the value we need to call that method okay but here in case of constructor we can pass that value over here one and ram okay and to display that value we need to call that method that is s1 dot display okay you do not need to call the insert method okay that will be done implicitly because whenever you are creating an object the constructor will be called okay and here it is a parameterized constructor because we are passing some argument argument from over here so one will be one will be copied into the variable r and two will be uh, and ram will be copied to this string n and further we are assigning it to r number and name so let's save this compile this and execute this okay here it is okay so we have done this we have assigned the values okay similar thing will be happen for the s2 also for example you are creating the another object of student class so this is student s2 and let's have a value 2 and sita okay nothing else you need to change save it compile this and execute this so here you can see it displaying one ram one ram why is it so because if you see over here we are this we are calling the display method using s1 dot display again okay here we have used s1 dot display and here it again we are displaying using a same object s1 so here we need to write down s2 save this compile this and execute let's see over here one ram two sita so these are the different ways by using that you can initialize the object by reference variable by method and by constructor so i hope that all of you understood this concept okay so if you like the video subscribe to channel and share with your friends also okay and do not forget to press the bell icon so whenever i am going to upload the video you will get the notification so i am running right now uh, java series for the beginner so you will get the benefited of the same thank you for the watching the video and if you have any query any doubt okay please comment it down i will surely respond to that thank you so much